Hey folks, Mo Bugizer. I'm back following up on a story we did on Friday Night Tech Talk a few weeks ago. If you watch the show every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, did a story about Samsung's Expert Raw app, which allows you to download the app onto the uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Galaxy S22 phones. I gather it will be coming to other Samsung phones soon, but they gave us the app since the phones themselves don't have raw capability. So I've never used it and I just figured I got curious and I wanted to see what it's like. So I just went out to take a few pictures and I mean very few just to compare uh, what the difference is. I gather the big thing is if you're going to edit photos raw uh, gives you much much more detail which allows you to edit in things like Lightroom and Snapseed to create much much better photos. I haven't done any and I haven't even used either one of them yet but if you check out Alter Tech on Instagram he uses RAW a lot, and it's in Lightroom, and is pretty much posting pictures almost every day on Instagram. So check out Alter Tech on Instagram, and also follow his channel. So I use the Galaxy S21 Ultra, taking one shot with its camera, and then following up with the camera using the Expert RAW app. It produces two outputs, one a regular JPG, and the other being the actual RAW, which the extension is DNG for each one. And the DNG file, the RAW file, is much, much bigger. I put the sizes on each photo, and I have only used four, but you'll get the idea. And looking at the normal output of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, comparing it with the JPG that comes out of the Expert RAW, there's slight differences you can notice. It's not huge as far as visually, but the uh, DNG file that RAW produces is huge. So you may or may not want to keep it on your phone. You might want to upload it to the cloud. But uh, if you want to do good editing, great editing, I gather you want to shoot in RAW and you'll want to download this app. So just want to explain all that to you guys. And now I'll let you see the few pictures I took. And uh, hopefully I'll learn more about it. And you'll start to learn about it. So I started inside at my desk. There's a normal output. There's the raw JPG. And there's the raw DNG file. And here they are side by side. After that, just the other four pictures I took with the file sizes. So not really a whole lot to show, but my curiosity led me here and I thought I might as well show you guys too. So hopefully I'll be learning how to edit these in Lightroom and Snapseed next. And when and if I do, I'll show you guys what I've learned as I go along. So as always, comments are welcome and thanks for watching.